What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. It is that time of year again for some amazing sales. This past Friday was Black Friday, so today I'm gonna to share with you my Black Friday haul. Now, it might not be as much as previous years. A lot of stores this year had a problem getting enough inventory for Black Friday because of COVID-19, which is fully understandable. So I was not able to get as much as I normally do, but regardless, I do have a lot of things to share with you. Now, as far as physical items, there's only one physical item this year. Everything else is digital on the PlayStation Store. Like I said, not as much as I usually get for previous years for Black Friday, but still enough to share with you guys for this video. Let's get started. So the first game I got from the PlayStation Store for part of the Black Friday sale, it actually started on sale on the Sunday before Black Friday, and that is Fast and the Furious Crossroads. This game here was on sale for $27. It was regular $53. So this is a game that when it came out earlier this year, since I'm a huge fan of the Fast and Furious movie franchise, I definitely wanted to get this game. It looks like it was a lot of fun. I watched the gameplay and the official trailer. It looks like it's going to be a blast. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be more focused on the street racing aspects as were the first movies were, or if it's just based on the current Fast and the Furious where it's based more on action. But it does look like a great game and it was on sale for a great price. The next game here is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Now, yes, as you guys can imagine, this is a more of a kid's game, but this is a remaster of a game that was on the PlayStation 2 that back then, this SpongeBob basically was part of my childhood, and back then on the PlayStation 2, I never got a chance to play this game. So since it was basically remastered, I definitely wanted to give it a chance and try it out because it looks like a lot of fun whenever I've seen some of the gameplay for this remaster. And it's an easy platinum to get. And you guys know I'm a trophy hunter, so not only is it nostalgic, so I get to relive, I guess, part of my childhood, but I'll definitely earn a trophy and a platinum out of it. The next game here is World War Z. This is a game that I've had my eye on for a while. Now, I never watched the movie. A lot of people and a lot of things that I see about it say that the movie was a complete flop. However, the gameplay looks like it's going to be interesting, and this game here was on sale for $11. Now, back whenever I was going to purchase it, I think maybe a year ago when it was on sale Black Friday, it was only on sale for $18, and at the time I was going to purchase it, but I'm glad I waited because this game was only $11. I thought that's a great deal. Now, I assume me and Jack are hopefully going to play this game together, but regardless, if I end up playing it by myself, it looks like a fun game that I'm going to have a blast playing. And if you guys are interested on any of these games, I might stream them on the channel as well. The next game that I got is Spyro Reignited Trilogy. This game here looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I had a lot of people recommend it to me. Now, I really would have rather have a physical copy for this game, but there is a $20 price difference because this game was not on sale physically for Black Friday, only on the PlayStation Store. So instead of paying $20 more for a physical copy, I decided to get the digital version for that reason alone. The digital version was on sale for $18. I'm not sure what the regular price is for this game on the PlayStation Store, but it definitely is a lot of fun and you're paying for three games. It is a trilogy of, I'm not sure if it's the original three Spyro games, but regardless, they're the Spyro games that I never played. I only started playing the Spyro games on the PlayStation 2. I never played any of the PlayStation 1 games, so it looks like it's a lot of fun. The trailer looked amazing. And it's Spyro, which was part of my childhood when I was on the PlayStation 2. So I'm definitely excited to see and basically, again, relive part of my childhood and play this game for nostalgic reasons. And it is three games. So for $18 for three games, I thought that's a steal. Why not pick it up? And the last game that I got digitally was Destroy All Humans. This is the... New one that came out earlier this year based on the game that came out in 2005. Basically a remaster of the 2005 game. And back on the PlayStation 2, I actually never got a chance to play this game. I looked up the trailer. I looked up some of the trophies. 
and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to dive into it. And it definitely looks like a game that I'll be able to platinum. So I am definitely really excited. This game here, I'm not sure what the regular price is, but it was on sale for $37. So I'm assuming that was on 50% off since it is a new game. Now those are the games that I got on sale on the PlayStation Store, and I'm really glad I did so, but instead of me just using my credit card and having to pay off my credit card, I decided to use the cash, Christmas money, and birthday money that I had in my room from previous years, and go to EB Games and purchase PlayStation Store cards, and that way I'd still earn some EB Game points. And then I just took those cards, redeemed them, and then purchased the sales that were on the PlayStation Store, because this year, there was more sales and better sales on the PlayStation Store than there was in EB Games. However, I still managed to get one physical game, and that game is Avengers for the PlayStation 4. I'm definitely really excited to get into it. It has some mixed reviews right now, and apparently the company did lose money on making it. But you also have to consider there is a pandemic ongoing right now. That's why probably people don't have the money to go and purchase a new game. This game for Black Friday was actually on sale 50% off. So instead of $80 Canadian, it was on sale for $40. So I decided to get it. Not only do you get the PlayStation 4 copy, you can also do a free upgrade whenever I get the PlayStation 5 for the PlayStation 5 version. So basically for $40 getting this game on Black Friday, it's not just this version of the game, it's also the PlayStation 5 version as well. And apparently there's no limit, so in another year when I plan on getting it, a year from now, the PlayStation 5, I'll be able to put this disc in the PlayStation 5 and redeem the PlayStation 5 version on my actual PlayStation 5. So two versions, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions, and that means I get to play this game twice and earn two sets of trophies and potentially two Platinums because these games are a lot of fun to get the Platinum for them. Now, this is everything that I managed to pick up for Black Friday. Now, you guys know I do collect hockey cards and the Upper Deck 2020-21 uh, Series 1 Mega Box was on sale Black Friday. However, because of the pandemic, or at least that's my thinking of it, they did not have many in stock on store. Instead of playing, paying $55 for the box, it was on sale for $25, like they do every year for the Mega Box, which the Mega Box has a lot of great young guns this year and some very interesting inserts that are only in the Mega Box. However, they're not available anywhere. I've looked, I've tried, I cannot get them. All of Walmarts were sold out. The sale for Walmart actually started for these on the Thursday before Black Friday, the day before and all the Walmarts sold out almost immediately, so wasn't able to get that. I did manage to pick up a bunch of movies that were around 4 to $8, some Marvel movies as well, they, those ones were $8, but those ones I gave to people basically to give to me for Christmas. So unfortunately, I do not have them to show because I did not purchase them for myself. I picked them out for people basically to give them to me as gifts because this year it's definitely really hard for people to think of gifts for other people. So I decided, and they recommended me just picking out some things. So I picked out some great movies for me to get for Christmas, basically. So yeah, this year, the only thing that I managed to pick up for Black Friday was video games. And all of these games, the ones that I got on the PlayStation Store and the physical copy for Avengers, I actually picked up the Sunday before Black Friday. The actual day of Black Friday sales, this year for me here in Canada did not seem to be the greatest. However, I still got some great deals and I'm definitely gonna be able to get a lot of trophies and have a lot of fun with these games. So thank you all for watching my Black Friday haul 2020. I hope you all found at least some deals and everybody is staying safe. I'll leave this video here. Please take care. Comment down below what you guys got for Black Friday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.